Greetings and welcome back to my page for another video. This video, as you can see, is breaking news. And before I get into this video, let me present to you my fair use disclaimer, which will also be in my description. And it simply reads, under section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, which states, allowance is made for a fair use of copyrighted material for purposes of commentary, criticism, news reporting, research, education, teaching, and or scholarship. It provides for the legal, non-licensed citation and or incorporation of copyrighted material by others which might be infringing under other circumstances and due to the nature of this story i will also place the viewer discretion disclaimer the following broadcast contains mature themes and situations intended for adults viewer discretion is advised so let us Without further delay, get into this video. Many of you may remember the officer and gentleman you see in the upper right hand corner. The officer is Derek Chauvin and the gentleman who is no longer here is George Floyd. This new story is on the premise of Derek Chauvin, who was the ex-officer convicted of the deletion of George Floyd. Apparently, according to many news outlets, and if you've been listening long enough, I implore you to always, always, always conduct your own independent research because with media, things may be omitted or information may be updated or retracted. So cross-reference and always keep that in your mind with not just myself, but every piece of content you come along with. So again, Eric Chauvin, you can see here, many of you may remember this infamous photo and this George Floyd, who unfortunately passed away. And there's a lot of controversy around this entire situation, which is why I put up my viewer discretion. Now, Derek Chauvin, and this is just a little backstory for those of you who may not be familiar and for those of you who may have forgotten, is the former Minneapolis police officer that was convicted in the deletion of George Floyd. And according to the Minnesota Attorney General's office, Derek Chauvin was apparently wounded the weapon while serving time in jail. Chauvin was hospitalized Friday night during an assault at the medium security federal correctional institution in Tucson. A law enforcement source with knowledge of the incident said that Chauvin was seriously injured in this assault. According to the Federal Bureau of Prisons, or as many of us know, BOP said the incident took place somewhere around 12.30 p.m. and responding to employees initiating life-saving measures. Again, let me repeat that. Life-saving measures for one incarcerated individual. The press secretary for the office of Minnesota Attorney General stated on Saturday, I, and this is in quotes, I can confirm that as of last night, 
Chauvin was expected to survive. Further details not released. So again, these are photos from 2020. And many of us remember, some of us trying to forget when George Floyd was heard by millions to say, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. And subsequently, his life was lost. Now, as I said, there are many people and I've read several comments, so please be sure to leave your comments on this video as to your feeling about this. There are some that feel as though Derek Chauvin should not be in prison. There are others who feel differently and have their own interpretation of the facts that happened in the case surrounding the late George Floyd. And I'm going to show a quick video. Again, this is fair use. Your comments, good, bad, or indifferent, are welcome. In for Micah Mater. We are starting with breaking news today. The Associated Press reports former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin has been stabbed by another inmate. This happened today, just after noon, at the federal prison in Tucson, Arizona. According to the report, prison employees performed, quote, life saving measures before the inmate, which is presumed to be Chauvin, was taken to a hospital. It is the second major incident to occur there in just a little over a year. Sources say the prison has been plagued by security lapses and staffing shortages. Chauvin is serving a 22-year sentence for the murder of George Floyd. So, your comments on this breaking news story of ex-officer Derek Chauvin who was convicted in the deletion of George Floyd in the year 2020, being injured while serving a 22 year sentence as it relates to, again, the deletion of George Floyd. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have not already and you would like, please feel free to subscribe. And if you like this video and any videos on this channel, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up, but more importantly, your comments. Thank you again for tuning in. And as always, be safe, be well, and you know the rest. Be healthier.